Good evening all. Dayapuram is an intellectual space for gender justice, social development and cultural growth. The 6th edition of Conclave is an event jointly organized by the Student Council and various clubs of Dayapuram Arts and Science College for women. This edition of the Conclave is titled Dear Future, Let Us From Cage Walls. And it was focused on the themes of the pandemic, online education and lives and stories of women. In addition to the regular keynote address, panel discussions and talks that cross the boundaries of disciplines, this edition also had an academic phase component in which competitions for college students. We welcome you to the final session, the validatory function of this two-day educational conclave. I welcome Fatima Faumi, General Secretary for the welcome speech. Learning gives creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking provides knowledge. Knowledge makes you great. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Good evening to one and all present here. I am profusely delighted to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the official valedictory ceremony of the sixth edition of Educational Conclave. Without any further ado, I take this opportunity to ful fulfill the responsibility bestowed upon me. First, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Professor Prasad Krishna, Director of National Institute of Technology, Calicut. Welcome, sir. Next, I would like to welcome Dr. M. M. Bashi, Chairman of Al Islam Charitable Trust, in his absence. Welcome, sir. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our beloved patron, Mr. C. T. Abdul Rahim, in his absence. Welcome, sir. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our beloved principal, Dr. Redi Tampati, to Dayabram Arts and Science College for Women. Welcome, ma'am. Now, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Dr. N. P. Ashley, volunteer in charge, Dayabram Arts and Science College, in his absence. Mm -hmm. Welcome, sir. Now, I welcome Mr. Tiji, sir, Director of Dayabaram Arts and Science College for Women. Welcome, sir. Next, I would like to welcome Ms. Monisha Pipi, Staff Advisor of Students' Council of Dayabaram Arts and Science College. Welcome, ma'am. I would like to welcome Mrs. Sri Devi, Registrar of Clubs. Welcome, ma'am. I welcome all the faculties to this event. Welcome all. Once again, I welcome you all to this auspicious evening. Thank you and have a nice evening. I welcome Dr. N. P. Ashley, volunteer in charge, the Apuram, to deliver the preface. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, respected Prasad Krishna, sir, the Director of National Institute of Technology, uh, TG principal, their teachers, their student council members and friends uh, from the departments and also club in charges, students and uh, who are office bearers of clubs. We've reached the valedictory function of the sixth educational conclave and very differently from the last five years, we had a conclave with keynote speakers and panel discussions and all of that. But we also had an academic fest. And I understand that this is one of the one of the first academic first fests to happen in this time when we are trying to come out of uh, uh, you know the pandemic and 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 the, and the I, and the experience of having been in a pandemic, having been locked in, having been caged so the letters that students were writing to the future in the, with the uh, you know dear future uh, letters from cage words is actually an attempt to sort of engage with this idea of unwinding coming out of a particular kind of reality and also coming out of uh, coming into a new normal so uh, this fest, and I'm very glad students of work, student council members and clubs and faculty members, especially Monisha Miss and Sridevi Miss, Principal, TG, 
the whole Dayabram College community and 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 most importantly, uh, the advisor uh, for this volunteer advisor for this event, uh, Benson John, or everyone has worked so tirelessly for this event, and we have reached the valedictory function. So I I uh, you know I salute everyone who has been part of this wonderful initiative because we have all have had a certain kind of inertia because of the pandemic and we have all been in two years we have also gotten used to a certain other reality and that reality is what we are sort of now uh, challenging and we are trying to come out of that 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 inertia that that stuck nature so we have to be trained in a certain way so that's that's one thing that we are looking at here the other thing i want to say is that and i want to say this to the the director of the nit because uh, the whole uh, you know one of the wonderful things that has happened uh, about the abram college recently is the involvement we've always had uh, you know we are all academicians working from different parts of the country um, and uh, we have uh, we've always got good support from the students and teachers of nit but uh, this time and uh, as part of their social work in in their some of them are in the managing uh, uh, you know uh, body helping us as volunteers so uh, now what what has wonderfully happened is that that bond has become based a lot stronger this year so i want to thank uh, the uh, the national institute of technology a neighboring sister uh, you know a, a neighboring institute uh, very nearby at the same time uh, bringing in their resources their expertise their their their, their nationally acknowledged expertise in um, helping out the work of the apuram so sir i want to really thank uh, uh, your institute and your faculty members and students who've been extremely kind a lot more this year than than previous years so that's one thing one hearty development that has happened in in recent years so um uh, thank you about that and i hope uh, you know uh, the kind of work that we try to do in our modest way for social justice for communal harmony all of that in in, in through the apuram we all work i always say we don't work for the apuram we work for the society through the apuram and uh, your 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 guidance your support is always uh, very important and i understand that you've, you've you've taken charge recently and you've been very kind to come today and it's it's amazing it's wonderful that you you're here and i also want to uh, congratulate everyone who has been part of this and we have reached the valedictory function and yes it is important what we learned what we talked about what we unlearned what we uh, thought about what we imagined uh, all of that is actually going to, uh, should help us in the days to come not just us uh, the, not just the students and teachers and the volunteers but also the participants the uh, you know uh, the, the 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 speakers everyone to think about what kind of future do you envisage what kind of future do you imagine because as we have heard uh, time and again in the conclave the idea is you have got to claim your spaces you've got to uh, uh, stand for what is right you have got to stand for kindness you've got to uh, imagine a world that others are going to live uh, so clearly so completely so honestly so deeply that's the the job of education that's the job of colleges that's the job of students because as somebody said students might be 20 percentage of um, the population now but they are the 100 percentage of tomorrow so it's extremely important that these ideas these thoughts these energies you've been part of uh, different kinds of uh, competitions different kinds of conversations you've created a beautiful space on that campus all that energy all that uh, should uh, help you come out of uh, the the pandemic we are coming out of and 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 hope we are you know we are we are not at the center of things it's a pandemic it's a virus it's a microbe but at the same time the only thing you know we could go we we learned that everything that we know might go wrong everything we've learned might uh, fail us but there are things that don't fail us that's goodness that kindness that thinking for everyone so uh, when you uh, when, through these letters to the future through this imagination of the future if we have become kinder better more benevolent more sensitive to the society that's what and more sensitive to the 
the idea of, of india the idea of an egalitarian and inclusive country uh, 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 an experience of kerala these are very important so i i wish you a wonderful time listening to uh, prasad sir and also in conclusion uh, when you all right like you know uh, all all, all the, the entire team when you uh, go home you've already done something and that will do something somewhere else so thank you very much everyone for listening to me and uh, you have a great evening thank you bye bye i request the chief guest professor prasad krishna director of national institute of technology calicut to address the gathering namaste to all before i begin my talk i will walk recording through, in progress i will walk you through a simple centering exercise i request all of you anyway it is the afternoon post lunch let us take rest for a few minutes gently close your eyes sit straight all of you relax softly and gently close your eyes sit straight and relax breathe normally scan all parts of your body from head to toe and relax each part we are all fine by the grace of god let go any tensions any worries let all parts of our body be completely relaxed bring our attention to the heart get absorbed in the love and light illuminating our heart thank you sometimes even to remain silent even for one minute may be difficult for some of you but friends i am extremely happy to be here at this valedictory function sixth edition of this conclave which has given a very right theme letters from the cage world i am grateful to viji sir i am happy to see our principal rathi tambati ma'am the faculty coordinators manisha and deepa student council members rita and kripa and all the faculty staff and students and other volunteers of this arts and science college ladies and gentlemen this is a great theme you have chosen and i'm very happy the earlier themes are also very relevant to that period cage world is a very relevant theme the kind of experience the kind of challenges we are experiencing during this pandemic and even when we want to recover from this pandemic there are again challenges it is like you know if a bird is used to be locked in a cage and when you it is always used to be in the cage and now if you open the cage the bird may not 
fly off. So, it is a very, very, it is already tuned to that kind of environment. And the COVID has made us, of course, there were many loved ones we lost, so many people lost jobs, so many economic breakdown, so many countries lost their dear ones, all that happened, but we should all understand the COVID has taught us great lessons in life. The most important lesson this pandemic has taught us is to tolerate others, accept people as they are. To my experience, that is the best. You all were in your comforts of your home and you must be able to accept your parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, housemate, what not. And I'm sure the, the home is the training ground for sacrifice, penance, to develop love. And there is a saying in English, charity begins at home. If you can't tolerate your own loved ones, your parents, your grandparents, your brothers and sisters, it's not possible for us to accept others, even our friends from the colleagues in the universities or in the society. So the biggest lesson COVID has taught us is to accept people, be tolerant. And our national education policy 2020 emphasizes on holistic development of personality. That means, what is that holistic development? Is it only the academic that matters? I am extremely happy this trust itself is known as academic and cultural. Dayapuram is on. Dayapuram itself has got that most important quality every human being should have. That is compassion. Today, even in the corporate world, we talk about compassionate leadership. Gone are the days, this autocratic leadership. So, if we want to be successful in any venture, whether you want to run in an enterprise or in a family or a leader in a society, whatever sphere of life we are, unless we are compassionate to our fellow being, seldom we can be successful. In that way, Nayapuram is embedding those human values. Man jisko man hai wo manush hai. Manush the word has come man. Man manush. And man is that mind and can that mind be regulated? Our biggest problem is now when I am talking in this class I can make out 99% are not listening to me. They are in their own world. Their mind, they are all looking at me, senses are all working, they are getting, hearing, seeing all, but they are not here. This is the beauty of human minds. The mind is like a monkey, it wanders. How to bring the mind here and now? A simple exercise I did that is called the centering. In corporate world, we call it centering. Bring the mind to the essence of your being. That being is in the heart, not here. None of your degrees matters. None of your rank, grade point. Nothing matters, my dear friends. What matters is only your heart. I may be PhD from US. I have so many degrees. This director, that, no use. If you don't have a good heart, who is going to accept you? So, friends, what I want to emphasize is 
whatever may be the achievements in academic curricular co curricular extra curricular activities if you don't have a benevolent heart your life will be miserable and when i look at the youngsters like you there are two things you are always concerned the first thing you are concerned is relationship this is of course only women here relationship boyfriend girlfriend problem may not be here it will be there for you also but not much we have that problem very much when they are in this four years many friends and how to cope up with that see even midnight 12 o'clock exactly at 11:15 and you have to say wait and wish happy birthday to that boyfriend or girlfriend otherwise we miss the relationship you can see you know under the blanket the mobile phone is moving parents are thinking this girl is sleeping or that boy is sleeping we are so precise in those things if i don't get a comment from my instagram or facebook or uh, twitter posting we are miserable some people are so miserable they get into depression if you, they don't get a thumbs up we have come to that kind of dilemma i am not criticizing these mobile phones or the social media but one should be in control of his mind or her mind if the mind is controlling you to move hither and there with there then you are miserable that is the greatness of all great people whoever you think of the great people are great not because of their wealth not because of their education please remember education the way we are imparting will not make you a holistic personality personality the english word has come from the root persona persona is what what i am wearing this is persona this is the mask the meaning of the word persona is mask which very rightly says i am not what i am ought to be i am not projecting the perfection which is already hidden in my heart i am not reflecting the divinity within me means i am a different person to my wife to my son my daughter to my teachers to my colleagues to my superiors to my uh, uh, juniors if you are putting mask everywhere unfortunately this corona is again telling us keep the mask always what is important is remove the mask one by one remove that you should be a holistic personality an integrated personality whether in thought action in thinking in speaking and action you will be an integrated personality that is the meaning of holistic and how do we bring that the only way is what i have learned when i was pursuing my studies in us i started this practice of heartfulness and i found that i am somehow able to integrate my mind and heart if we can integrate the mind and heart by this method of heartfulness which is no religion no country no race no language heart is for every created being every scriptures every religion says the divinity is in the heart heart is the seat of soul seat of divinity for all religions so friends that is where the center of our being that is the essence of every one of us and how to connect with that heart that is possible by a few minutes of silence you and your inner self now these days seldom we have time for silence we are always bothered about others looking at whatsapp 
who is commenting what is that it is good because we need to be connected with the dear ones no doubt social media helps but how many of you are spending at least 5 minutes you and yourself when i was studying in national university of singapore as a student i realized this mistake when i was walking you know in the evening walking through the garden next to my hostel in singapore then i realized you you are only observing nature and walking and that walk is very important my dear friends i am requesting you please spend time outdoors don't accompany anybody just observe the trees the plants all and you will learn many things you will observe them it is not seeing seeing is different from observation you observe the nature the nature will reveal that secrets and you will get so much of message and in that solitude you will get the answer to whatever problems you face whether i need to marry this guy whether i should pursue further studies or i should go for marriage all of us are confused in relationship husband and wife you and your parents mother father problem brothers and sisters you have problem with teachers you say because of this teacher i have no interest in this class he she or has motivated demotivated me so we blame every time we blame others a hey, mummy is you know because of her i am in this uh, problem see my relationship is so every time that is why in the holy bible blame not others blame thyself so very valid but we, who will be uh, ready for that we are always blaming the teachers the politician the system the media friends everyone society and often we easily take blame on our poor mother father said may react the mother poor mother has to undergo all this and in the days of this covid mother is undergoing all that trouble we never forget one day you also will become a mother and then the nature gives that the cycle goes on but what is important i am telling you is if you spend 5 minutes of silence you and yourself you will be a great personality i can guarantee there is no need to go to any mandir masjid or any temple or anything you don't have to waste money on any priest or whatever offerings nothing is required you have to connect your divinity in your heart and all answers will come from the heart the heart speaks in absolute silence god speaks only in silence and that hridayaka avas dil ki awaaz the dil se kaam karo you know in north we say you know are bhai dil se kaam karo so dil se means that it is use heart in all relationship all activities whether you dance sing even in your love making if heart is in the friend it is going to be perfect perfection of that the supreme the creator's perfection is inside you and that will happen and you will reflect the true personality which is always divine which is compassionate which is merciful which has only love emanating from the core of the heart there is no different nobody becomes great by you know by look or by touch or by putting some you know some different dress or putting some perfume nothing makes you a different personality until and unless our inner bodies are purified and we are able to integrate the mind and heart then the holistic personality automatically reveals in our education policy the holistic development means physical mental 
ഇമോഷണൽ സ്പിരിച്വൽ സോഷ്യൽ എൻവയോൺമെൻ്റൽ ആൻഡ് ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ വെൽബീൻ ആൻഡ് ഐ എം ഷുവർ ദീസ് കംപ്ൽ ഓഫ് ഡേയ്സ് യു ഹാഡ് എക്സ്പോഷർ ഫ്രം പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം ഓൾ വർക്ക്സ് ഓഫ് ലൈഫ് എമിനെൻറ്റ് വിമൻ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റീസ് who have been successful in various walks of life and i'm sure if you look at them what is that makes them different from others obviously it is not that they had degree from oxford cambridge or harvard nothing like that what makes them different is only in their personality in their attitude it is our attitude which determines our altitude it's always you know often it is quoted so friends what i want you to please look at this when we are troubled with relationship our expectations are never met and we are confused in this world and there'll be more confusion in the future the world is very very uncertain none of the scientists and technologies to the most advanced nations could never predict the advent of this invisible enemy called covid the most advanced nations forget about india none of the european or the western countries could predict there will be a corona virus which is going to upset the entire economy of the world therefore in the eyes of the creator we are nothing we are nothing whatever may be our advancement in science and technology ladies and gentlemen understand the limitations of all the advancement human beings have done so far we have not understood even 1 trillionth of this planet i don't know even much more than that what is happening in this galaxy because by the time i speak another billions of similar galaxies have been produced which no telescope can ever even look at that so it's ever expanding universe and in that galaxy in this milky way what are we so many millions of stars like sun and in our saur youth one small planet is this earth and it is not even like a mud particle on the sea shore maybe a sand particle on the sea shore is our planet there are definitely much evolved being in other planets also science is yet to discover but if you are in a meditative state like albert einstein and the great scientists they discovered not because of all the systematic experiments etc it is only by retrospection reflection and contemplation so when we are in meditative posture everything reveals discoveries are made albert einstein found the relativity theory isaac newton found the gravitational theory madam curie found that radium all because of contemplative methods that is why i am re emphasizing our younger ones to spend few minutes of silence and you will see wonders in your relationship and you will be successful in whatever career the next problem is your career for all of you and the career the path will be immediately open for you once you are in control you remember a question was asked to the miss universe you all know that she was asked this question what is the biggest problem the women of today are facing you do you know what did she answer i hope most of you know the answer she told today's women are lacking self confidence atma vishwas in our uh, malayalam atma vishwas means vishwas in the atman confidence in the self how to bring that how to bring that self confidence that is possible only if you interact communicate with yourself that possible only in absolute silence you may read any uh, religious texts you may uh, i mean uh, chant some mantras bhajans 
no use that will never make you a better human being only way is to connect the inner self with you then what she told we are self confidence will develop we can face the world today is covid tomorrow this war is spreading ukraine you know the war has come nobody nobody are nobody is stopping the war you see the the uh, the total helplessness of this developed nations nobody can stop war therefore the message is one should be independent we should be in control of our destiny not your parents not your husband wife brother sister friends decide your destiny your destiny is in your hand in your thought your action we weave our destiny by our own thoughts and action this is a fundamental fact not to blame anybody and once we weave the destiny the way we want tomorrow there may be world war we are not shaken by all that we move on in this world and the creator has made us created us for a purpose and we will be able to fulfill that purpose and in a cheerful joyful purposeful peaceful way and we leave this planet leaving making it a better than what we have seen so that is the biggest gift we can give to our younger generation once again i wish you the very best and please take care of the personality in toto nurture you are make sure that you have socio emotional resilience and if you want i can teach you i am a trainer in meditation and it is given free of cost in 160 countries we are giving we have no religion because i believe god has no religion religions have no god god has no religion thank you very much once again i am grateful to the management of this dayapuram cultural trust the principal reddy tambati your student council union vj sir and all the faculty and staff for giving this opportunity to share my experience because what i have shared is not from any books whatever i am today at this position of director is only because of what i have learned by tuning my heart to the presence of divinity thank you one and all wish you all the best and my my offer is always there ashley sir mentioned we have lot of interaction with the next door uh, nit nit is a national institute is a parliamentary body it is a people's institute it is a public institution it is for all of you so please don't hesitate to walk into the any lab any place and it is yours thank you all the best thank you so much sir i request Professor Prasad Krishna to accept the memento as a token of our love and gratitude, and I request our beloved principal, Dr. Reddy Tampati, to honor him by handing over the memento. Today. we will be announcing the winners of various competitions that was conducted in the second day of educational conclave i request professor prasad krishna to give away the prizes photography competition first prize jidin joseph on behalf of jidin joseph julia thomas vlas vlas accept the gift Second prize, Fatima Farming from the Abura.
third prize, Nawaz from JDT College. On behalf of Nahas, Shamin will ask up the prize. Essay writing competition, first prize, Adira PK. Second prize, Fatima Rana. And third prize, Amna Habiba. Thank you, sir. I welcome our principal ma'am to honor the winners. Speech competition, first prize, Adira Ramesh. Second prize, Adila Fabi. Third prize, Shifana. Converse, first prize, Ronnie Sebastian, MAMO. Second prize, Malavika V, Diapuram. And third prize, Muhammad Faiz, Faiz. On behalf of Muhammad Faiz, Ronnie Sebastian will hand up. Good. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I welcome Monisha Mas to honor the winners. Poster making, comp poster making competition, first prize, Fatima Farming, Deyapuram. Second prize, Rita Ashraf. And third prize, Mashrufa KP. Next, short film review writings competition. First prize, Devadatta Deyapuram. Second prize, Aisha Afnida Deyapuram. Third prize, Anjana MU Deyapuram. Next, debate competition. First prize, Adila Fabi and Aburva. Second prize, Arati K. N. Shifana. Third prize, Adulya P. N. Fasna Faisal. Congrats winners. Let me invite our principal ma'am, Radhi Tambati, for principal's address. Palada Pradaman. I would like to invite Monisha Mas, staff advisor, to share her experience. Good evening, all. We are all on last day of the educational conclave. At this moment, I would like to recall my experience from my college life. Those memories are exciting. Taking initiative and conducting different events and coordinating the team for Arts Day, College Day, tour events, etc. For the past few weeks, I have gone back to those days, planning events, running here and there, and coordinating different sessions. I must thank T.D. Sir, Ashley Sir, Benston Sir, Dr. Radhi Ma'am, Sri Devi Miss, Students Council Members, Club Coordinators and Representatives, and all others for supporting to make this event a successful one. The Yapuram College gave me the first experience in teaching and now entrusted me with one of the signature events of our college. I hope I have risen up to the Expectation of my colleagues and students. Thank you.
Next, let me invite Sri Devi Ma'am, Registrar of Clubs. Good evening, people, respected dignitaries on the days, my dear students, my colleagues. Uh, me, I am not here for a, sh for a memory sharing. I was asked to make a presentation about the conclave. So the presentation is made by Monisha ma'am. So I'll be detailing about that. So let me start. So while making the presentation, it was like a walk through the memory lane. Even though I was not a part of many of the conclaves which happened here, uh, every bro brochure was uh, so visible and so uh, evident about the hard work that everybody has put in. And as a, uh, as a coordinator this year, I'm really proud to say that the hard work has paid off finally. So let me start. Officially launched in 2016, the Educational Conclave is the brainchild of a group of talented individuals who thought of coming together to engage in serious deliberations. It is conducted annually as a two-day academic mela where eminent scholars and experts from different fields across the country converse with students and teachers. The highlight of the event is that it's meant for people who thirst for knowledge. And let me say, people of Dayapuram believes that knowledge cannot be purchased. The conclave series include inaugural sessions, panel discussions, parallel sessions, and finally, a valedictory session. So the first edition of conclave, as you see, uh, was held on 20th and 21st of December 2016 with events like plenary talks, lectures, workshops on higher education orientations, and job sector awareness. The conclave turned out to be an alarming success as the event was definitely one of its kind. The guest panelists includes, included personalities like D.D. Nambudari, the Executive Director, Crest, Dr. M.B. Manoj, Poet Professor, Calicut University, and many more. Now, the second edition of Conclave, the next slide, please. Yes, the second edition of Conclave held on 19th and 20th December 2017 was quite insightful as it focused on the future and career concerns of the youth. That has always been the concern of Dayapuram, the youth and their future. Eminent figures in all fields of knowledge honored the days with their presence. To name a few, Harriet Raghunathan, Professor, Jesus and Mary College, Delhi, Siddharth Shiva, filmmaker, director, actor, Mrs. Shaina Rafiq, screenplay writer, short story writer, and Mr. Srijit Devagaran, journalist and writer, were some of the few. Next slide. The third edition of the Conkley was titled Women and Reconstruction of Kerala, and definitely the third edition was a secret pride because you know uh, the entire world was locked after the, flight, after the flood and this event was one of its kind. And it complemented the vision of flood rehabilitation and social reconstruction in terms of remembering, learning from and preparing action plans from deliberations. The conclave held on 20th and 21st of December 2018 has shouldered the responsibility of ensuring adequate participation and owing to the interest from the students, the event was inaugurated by none other than Neha Dikshit, internationally acclaimed journalist and it was eventful with the presence of people like Vidhu Vincent, award-winning director, Dr. Varsha Vidhyadharan from Calicut Medical College and Asha Achi Joseph, academician and filmmaker. The fourth edition, the fourth edition of the conclave was a rebounding success with its star-studded panel of academicians, journalists, professors and entrepreneurs. The fourth edition titled A New Earth and New Sky was inaugurated by none other than Ms. Sagariga Ghosh, journalist and author. The event was hosted by the college on 19th December 2019 and the panel of guests was diverse with representation from various disciplines of study. The fifth edition of the conclave, Open Sisem, was conducted on 5th and 6th March. The conclave was structured around keynote sessions, subject-oriented lectures, conversations and issue-based discussions. The noted conversants were Ravish Kumar, journalist, Geo Baby, 
award winning director shani prabhagaran along with nimish joseph researcher from delhi and jodhurmai kurup trainer now today as we sat stand here the second day of the sixth edition of our educational conclave it's 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 a, it's special because it was it's histor it's a historical moment as far as dayapuram is concerned because it is organized by the student council so more than the student council i would call student collective of the college the student council and the various societies functioning under the college conjointly presents dear future letter from caged worlds so it's an academic extravaganza in the form of lectures competitions and exhibitions we have done all that i hope uh, this is the last event the valedictory session where we thank everybody we uh, with as i as i said with our heart from our heart because you know if hearts were not involved this wouldn't have happened i know there are a lot of students i need to thank but i'll i'll do it in some other occasion but without you my dear students it wouldn't have happened and this is a moment we would say we did it girls thank you thank you ma'am next i would like to call juveria fine arts secretary to propose the word of thanks no duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks good evening to the galaxy of intellectuals invited girls beloved teachers and my dear friends today i juveria on behalf of the apuram college feel extremely honored and privileged to deliver the word of thanks to everyone present here first and foremost i express our gratitude to four honorable chief guests of the day professor prasad krishna director of nit calicut thank you sir next i would like to thank our patron ct abdurrahim sir in his absence of his constant guidance thank you sir i would thank mm bashir sir in his absence for his valuable guidance thank you sir i am immensely thankful to our volunteer advisor mr benson johnson for his immense support thank you sir i miss thank miss mr dtg director of dayapuram arts and science college for women for his guidance thank you sir next i would like to express my sincere gratitude to dr n p ashley volunteer in charge dayapuram college for his guidance and support thank you sir further we are very grateful to our principal miss radhi tambati for being the backbone of our college thank you ma'am next i would like to express my sincere gratitude to our staff advisor miss monisha pp and miss ridhavi for their enthusiasm and energy which is the driving force of our union thank you teachers i must mention our deep sense of appreciation to the entire club members for being along with us thank you and last but not the least i thank the wonderful students teachers and participants from different college who have turned up for making this session a great success thank you everyone